with the Fountain of Youth Philanthropy. Pursuing a brighter future for Westmoreland County. Can you name the President of the United States? Are you serious? <laughs> Donald Trump. Yes. Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump. Donald. Donald Trump. That's, that's the guy. Now can you name one of our county commissioners? Here in Greensburg? Nope. No, I cannot. No. Negative. No. I can. He comes to my pizza shop all the time, but I just can't remember him right now. The voices you just heard were everyday citizens in Westmoreland County. Unsurprisingly, they could all name the president. But when asked the same question about our county commissioners, not a single person was successful. Many citizens recognize the importance of their federal government, but the significance of local representation falls by the wayside. I'm Benjamin Felak. I'm Olivia Steely. And I'm Jaden Seaman. Let's find out just how important local government is. Local government is what affects you on a daily basis, whether it's a school board, local municipalities, cities, bureaus, townships, and even the county. Take it from Gina Sorelli, the chairman of the board of Westmoreland County Commissioners. Local governments are also responsible for building, maintaining, and clearing roads as well as facilitating elections. Yet, our region still lacks overall voter participation in off-year contests, particularly in the primaries. According to the Election Bureau of Westmoreland County, less than a third of registered voters in the region hit the polls in the 2015 general election, an embarrassing number compared to the more than three-fourths of constituents who participated in the 2016 presidential election. This data supports the notion that the general public values federal government more than local municipalities. But this shouldn't be the case, as local government impacts people's daily lives. One school in Westmoreland County is doing their best to combat this trend. Project 18 is a course taught at Hempfield Area High School that is dedicated to educating new voters about county government and fostering civic engagement. Ken Stow, the teacher of Project 18, explains what his class does for students. It's focused primarily on state and local governments and uh, learning about the different levels of governments, how they're operated, who leads them, what their responsibilities are. There is also a community service component. Students who take the class are able to recognize just how important local government is. Aaron Riggleman, a recent graduate of Hempfield and Project 18, reflects on how the class impacts students' lives. Something that Project 18 teaches a lot of students is that whether it's, you know, you have a family member that passes away and you need to get your will, that's something that's done by an elected official. If you need a speed bump in your neighborhood, that's an elected official. Every aspect of your life is something that is impacted by an elected official. Just taking this class and knowing what office you have to go to to get something done is something that is really important to know as we grow up. But if civic engagement in regional government is such an important thing, and it can have such a bearing on each person in a county or municipality, why do these elections tend to get overlooked? Presidential and midterm elections are the sexy elections. It's what you're watching on TV. Local elections, it's more if you have a neighbor that's running for school board, if you have a co-worker that's running for city council or any of the county offices. It's not surprising to me that primaries are a lower turnout more so than the general election for municipal years. Just like on TV, local leaders take a back seat to federal politics in school. Currently, schools in the area tend to focus solely on government at the federal level. In fact, there is no requirement in the PA Department of Education standards that mandates any curriculum pertaining to local government. Part of the reason could be the sheer number of teaching tools that would be necessary to cover the entire state. Again, here's Ken Stow. It's a hard class to teach. It requires the creation of a lot of materials that would teach you about Hempfield Township or Westmoreland County. So, I mean, there's 67 counties in Pennsylvania. Unless a school would take initiative and say, okay, this is something important, we need to do this, it's not going to happen. When it comes to political engagement in Westmoreland County, the facts are clear. There's plenty of room for improvement. An extremely high amount of those eligible to vote don't show up to the polls, and even less are informed about their local representation. How do we address this? The way to create more awareness and to get more young people involved is to help them understand these concepts through measures like Hemfield's Project 18 class. Providing similar programs in high schools outside of Hemfield would go a long way. I would let anybody know uh, in a school or otherwise that I've done the work, I have the materials, and uh, I'd be glad to share them. As former Speaker of the House Tip O'Neill once said, all politics is local. Now it is our responsibility as citizens to participate in democracy and have our voices heard. 
The Fountain of Youth Philanthropy was produced by the Community Foundation of Westmoreland County's Youth Philanthropy Interns with support from SLB Radio Productions. All statements and opinions are those of the speakers and do not necessarily represent those of the Community Foundation. More information on the Youth Philanthropy Internship Program can be found at cfwestmoreland.org.